Blacktastic greetings, family. This is your brother, the one and only brother Ron, also known as R2C2H2 the Artivist. And we all be in it to win it because we all be news free Dixie for the 21st century. That's news free Dixie for the 21st century. I'm actually here on this good Saturday, beautiful Saturday to uh, February the 24th, 2024 to pay homage to my cousin, my sister in the arts, my cousin Donna K. Taylor made her transition on the day of love. That's Valentine's Day 2024. It was unexpected, but my cousin knew how to make a interest and a grand exit. She was good. She had divine timing. So I just wanted to talk about her for a moment to show my appreciation for a life well, well lived. She had her homegoing services earlier today down in Sardis, Mississippi. Man, it was packed out. It was really standing room only. Got a lot of kinfolk down in the Mississippi Delta. You know, it's Taylor Gang, Taylor Gang, Taylor Gang, man. So I had to represent for my family. Uh, I am the proud grandson of the one and only Arthur Grip Taylor Sr. Representing for the Taylor Gang. But my cousin was unique. Uh, she really was a free spirit, a creative force of nature. That knew no bounds. She was very encouraging in my own artistic, artistic uh, pursuits, my own artivism thing. She was an artivist in her own right, a true Renaissance woman, a journalist, a you know writing journalist as well as a photojournalist. Um, just an expressive work of art that will be missed, but she left a powerful living legacy. Uh, she left a blueprint, and also she left a lot of grandkids and then some. There's a lot of them. And so she was fruitful, and she multiplied. But Cousin Donna, I mean Donna, excuse me, Cousin Donna K. Taylor was one of the most encouraging people when I started my We All Be movement back in the spring of 2006. Uh, she immediately showed us support with my blog uh, by contributing articles that she written uh, for the local paper down in Mississippi. And uh, she really was for black people. She loved her people. She knew that black lives mattered for all her black life. And uh, she made a lot of sacrifices in order to say what she had to say and do what she had to do. Uh, her passing came as a surprise to me. It's been a minute since I reached out to Cousin Donna. But whenever I did get a chance to connect with her, she was always love and always positive and always outgoing. She never gave up gave in or gave out she set a great example for our family uh and for people in general a true humanitarian a true humane being man so cousin donna this is for you uh shout out to you you are a righteous ancestor may you find rest and peace among the stars you have earned your spot and know that we love you madly and we're going to keep on producing and pushing. You have sparked something in me that I continue or that I shall continue for hopefully a long, long time. Um, because you was all about showing up because you understood that most of life is showing up. And then you had the option of showing out. And you showed out for all the righteous reasons, man. So I, I thank you, cousin. Like I said, you will be missed, but you never forgotten. And you made, you made your transition, but you are still here. As long as people have minds to remember and hearts to love, your legacy shall be a living one. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, cousin. Job well done. Salute to you. Words of the great Duke Ellington. Once again, we love you madly. And we're going to keep on producing and pushing. Because once again, we all be in it to win it can y'all dig it man you know i had to you know go to sister thea bowman's place to pay homage to my cousin they both powerful spiritual women of mississippi showing up and showing out even beyond the grave you see how it works somewhere over there one love
And one more thing about Cousin Donna. She was a true Renaissance woman, a true Jackie of all trades. So in the words of Duke Elton, she was truly beyond category. See how it works? Somewhere.